Thank you. It's one of my favorite books, right? It's Daddy, Mommy. That's Mutis. Daddy, Mommy. Ready to turn the page? No. When Picasso met Mutis. Whoa, he's angry. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. It's my Daddy. Oh. Ready to turn the page? Guys, Daddy, Mommy. There was once a young pig named Picasso. While the other piglets rolled in the mud and played games, look over here, Picasso painted. He painted anything and everything, and in the most unusual way. Is that a cow? What does the cow say? <laughs> say moo. What does the cow say? They're pigs. Can you say oink oink? A baby. A baby. At the same time, there was once a young Daddy, bull baby, named Mutis. Mm -hmm. Want to give me a pointer finger? Ready? Mutis was not like the other bulls. He wasn't interested in bullfighting. Mutis was happy only when he painted pictures. And he painted big, bold, bright pictures. Ready to turn the page? Whoa. In time, word of Picasso's talent spread throughout the pig provinces. Soon, art-loving pigs from all over lined up to buy his creations. At the same time, Mutis was getting famous in the cattle community. There weren't many households that didn't own a mooster piece. <laughs> Picasso and Mutis were becoming art superstars, but this came with a price. Everybody wanted to see them. Art buyers, art sellers, art students, art historians, art groupies. Come here, buddy. It was an art attack. Oh, you got me good there, Luce. I love you. One day, Picasso got fed up and said, I'm tired of this noisy pig pen. I think Lucy really wants to read with us. At the same time, Mutis declared, I'm sick of this crowded cow town. Needing a change, they both decided to look for a peaceful place where they could paint without distractions. Oh my goodness. Are you ready to turn the page? So each of the two artists looked far and wide for the perfect spot. Picasso found a lovely farm looking... <laughs> looking towards the east, and Mutis found a handsome farm facing the west. This is what it's like reading with a two-year-old, everyone. After Picasso moved in, he went to introduce himself to his new neighbor across the road. You tell me, what do you see? Do you see any apples? Where are the apples? All right. Do you see any pumpkins? No. Good girl. What about trees? Oh, that's not a tree. It's corn or a silo. Where do you see a tree? Yeah, anywhere else? You're so good. At the same time, Mutis wanted to introduce himself to his new neighbor across the road. That's a house. That's a barn. House. Barn. What is that? The sky. And coincidentally, that is how Mutis met Picasso. At first, I am reading more. At first, Picasso and Matisse were friendly and welcomed each other as neighbors, but soon, things began to change. Gentle, gentle Lucy. Oh, it started one day when Picasso... You want me to keep reading? I'll read another book. I'm going to keep reading this one, okay? No! Do you want to go find your big, your pinky? You do? Okay, you go find it. Oh, look at what we got. Oh, okay. It started one day when Picasso criticized one of Mutis's paintings. Then Mutis made fun of one of Picasso's. Mutis called Picasso an art hog. 
that Picasso called Matisse a mad cow. Matisse quipped, you paint like a two-year-old. That's just like you. And Picasso retorted, you paint like a wild beast. Matisse raged, your colors look like mud. Picasso spat, your paintings look like color by numbers. Then things got really out of hand. It was a modern art mess. Wow, huh? Picasso stormed off in the house, into his house. That Matisse doesn't like my art, he huffed. Well, I'll show him. And Matisse bullied his way into the house. I'll give you that, I'll give that Picasso something he can really criticize, he snorted. Then a full-scale feud erupted, but it was the most unusual battle. Armed with ladders and buckets of paint, Matisse launched the first attack. He started at dawn. By the end of the evening, he had succeeded in transforming the outside of his house into a monster-sized mooster piece. Want to turn the page? Not to be outdone, Picasso fired up his paintbrushes and in full view of the enemy, counterattacked. He turned his farm into a huge and outrageous fork of art. Oh my goodness, look loose. Look at the eyeballs, isn't that funny? The two artists then retreated into their house and pulled down the shades. Picasso certainly didn't want to look out his window he st um, and stare at a Matisse. And Matisse had no desire to give his room a view of a Picasso. Turn the page. This presented a problem, and there seemed to be only one solution. Not yet. I'll tell you when, okay? Without a word to each other, Picasso and Matisse each began to build a huge wooden fence down the middle of their road. At first, Picasso and Matisse seemed satisfied. Both artists went back to painting by themselves. But after a while, Picasso was surprised to find that he missed that bullheaded Matisse. At the same time, Matisse found his studio empty without the presence of pig-headed Picasso. Picasso pondered that Matisse isn't such a bad artist. He has some interesting ideas. Matisse moaned, moaned that Picasso may not paint like me, but he knows what he's doing. Want to turn the page? However, being naturally pig-headed and bull-headed, neither artist knew how to apologize to the other. So they did what they do best. They let their paintbrushes do the talking. Picasso painted one on Picasso painted on one side of the fence and Matisse painted on the other. Each worked until they were exhausted. It was strangely quiet when they were done. Here you go. Then, curious to see what Matisse had been doing, Picasso sprinted around to, um, to the other side. At the same time, Matisse galloped over to Picasso's side. The silence was broken as the two artists began laughing at their amazing works of heart. You want to turn the page? From that day on, Picasso and Matisse became great friends. They happily took down the fence and shared their different views. A few months later, a big museum bought the fence. Picasso called his side when Picasso met Matisse, and Matisse called his side when Matisse met Picasso. The critics called it incredible. Look, Museum of Modern Art. Want me turn the page? The true story of Picasso and Matisse. Picasso and Matisse were not a pig and bull, but they were characters. They were two of the finest artists of the 20th century. While they were never neighbors, they became close in the small world of art. Henry Matisse was born on December 31st, 1869 in France. Matisse didn't want to be an artist when he was little. He studied to be a lawyer. But when he was 21, he got sick with appendicitis. While he was getting better, he painted his first painting. He liked painting so much that he ended his law career. Pablo Picasso was born on October 25, 1881 in Spain. His father was an art teacher who helped Picasso start painting when he was very young. It was soon obvious that he was very talented. Picasso studied painting in Barcelona and Madrid, two big cities in Spain. But as he was growing as an artist, Picasso decided to move to Paris which was, and still is, a great city for art. 
That is where Picasso met Matisse. Both Picasso and Matisse were gaining recognition as artists in Paris. In fact, two Americans named Leo and Gertrude Stein, who lived there, started collecting their paintings. In 1906, Gertrude Stein had a party, and that is where Picasso and Matisse met for the first time. I'm almost done, okay? At first, Picasso and Matisse were friendly to each other. They even traded paintings. Matisse also gave Picasso an African mask, which inspired him to paint in a primitive style, a style he became very famous for. But soon it became apparent that Picasso and Matisse were becoming rivals and competitors. Picasso said some bad things about Matisse's paintings, and Matisse said some bad things about Picasso's. But over time, the two artists learned to respect each other and became lifelong friends. They both owned many of each other's paintings. Matisse once told Picasso, we must talk to each other as much as we can. When one of us dies, there will be some things that the other will never be able to talk, will never be able to talk uh, with anyone else. Matisse died in 1954 and Picasso died in 1973. But their art lives on in many museums, galleries, and private collections around the world. That was a good book, huh? You ready to give kisses goodnight? Nope, we're done.